I want to issue a formal apology from the bottom of my heart to anyone that I've ever unintentionally misled with anything that I've ever put on YouTube or my old blog posts. I'm sorry if I've done that. Given my current state of awareness, I know that there are individuals out there who have a far greater understanding of what is taking place than I do. And I'm aware that there is so much that I don't know. To the point where it's inevitable that I'm going to unintentionally say things and take certain actions that, in hindsight, I will view as incorrect or close to the truth, but not quite it. Essentially, this is a message from my future self to my current self that I'm attempting to relate to you right now, and myself, of course. Because it's only through the introspection over time that these sorts of things reveal themselves to you. I like to keep it sort of lighthearted and joke around, even when it's serious topics, but I want you to know that I take everything that I put on the internet very seriously at this point. It's a very big responsibility, and more than that, it's just an honor that other people out there would actually listen to what I have to say. And actually give me feedback that says, hey, this is really helping me. That's not something that I take lightly. And I think everybody should view the things that they put on the internet in a similar way. That doesn't mean you have to censor yourself, just always keep in mind that somebody out there might actually be listening to you and taking you seriously, you know? But I just want you to know the honest truth, which is that I self-sabotage myself all the time. And I get away from the path that I know I should be walking. And that, of course, is why it's self-sabotage. But I never beat myself up about it. I always cut myself a break. Because life is hard. And I recently had an epiphany regarding my own actions, specifically on the internet. In the past, I spent a lot of time dedicating my efforts to deconstructing disinformation and the intelligence assets distributing that disinformation. For every video that I put out on it, there were hundreds of hours of observation and contemplation that went into those. Now, I have to say, it is a bit of a conundrum because I wouldn't be where I'm at now without having been provided with videos, websites, blog posts that expose certain information about 
the links between all of these individuals that are providing alleged truth to all of us. Those sorts of things help me get where I am. And so I felt it was my obligation to provide a similar service for everyone else that was coming behind me that hadn't reached that stage yet. The problem, of course, is that this starts to consume you and you don't even know it. It starts to subtly influence your disposition. And this shouldn't be a surprise. Trolls are very good at agitating other people. That's their job. And I realized that I was feeding that even if I was supposedly showing it for what it was. So I set all of those videos to private. And an interesting thing happened. I felt a weight lifted off of my shoulders. And that weight came from the energetic release that I was given through not providing these individuals with my attention anymore. They say that there's no such thing as bad publicity. And all that really means is there's no such thing as bad attention, right? Attention sustains. And even though I was clearly showing a lot of these individuals for what they really were, I was still fueling their existence through my attention on them. And then on top of all that, I was just losing my way. My focus now is on real life. That's not to say I'll never make a video again on those sort of subjects. I mean, if there's something that comes along that's just so egregious and no one else is covering it in the way that it needs to be covered, well then of course I'll do it. But my epiphany was if these manipulators, this intelligence that is manipulating everyone, both in the regular media and through the online media, if they are forced to copy and mimic and then distort a lot of what we put out, well then wouldn't a better approach be to just dive even further into vulnerability and honesty and openness. Because, of course, then they'll be forced to adopt a similar approach. And that might actually help. So all of that is to say that I'm very sorry to anyone that I ever unintentionally misled with anything that I've put out there on the internet. Whether it's in the past, right now, or in the future. I know enough to know that I've done that. And everyone that's doing similar things to what I'm doing should be aware enough to admit that to both themselves and everyone that's listening to them. Again, I have so much work to do. So much. And there's so much I don't know. 
But if you take away anything from what I'm saying to you right now, just take away the fact that there is beauty in the pursuit of the truth. And if we are all honestly pursuing it in a genuine fashion, what is there to complain about? What is there to argue about? Seriously, what is, what? What could you possibly say about another person if they're doing that? I'm just overcome in this moment by this, this thought that the human mind and body is so incredible. It's so awe-inspiring. We are capable of amazing things. And it's been so suppressed from our collective stream of consciousness that just the glimmer of the possibilities that can be seen through our imagination and then verified in the physical world through the experiments that you do is enough to make your heart burst with excitement at what the future might hold. We should all be very excited for the future. Even if we get a lot of things wrong along the way. And again, I'm sorry for anything that I've unwittingly done or said along those lines.